So I was um, I was just out here the other day. It was Monday night, wasn't it? Um, that there was this uh, super moon, the best moon that we were going to see in I don't know, 60 years or whatever it was. I'm not quite sure. So I thought to myself, I'm going to come out and take some photos, trying to get this super moon. And I drove out somewhere in the distance out there, in the distance. Well, I drove out to try and see the super moon, and quite honestly, I couldn't find it. Couldn't find it, honestly. About nine o'clock that evening, it was just up there. It was not super. I'm a little bit disappointed. Anyway, so I stood here, tried to take some photos of it. Didn't really get much of a good photograph, quite honestly. I got a lot of photographs of moody clouds, which was really nice. Then I thought, actually, what I'll do is I'll film them. So, I'll show you that on time-lapse. It's a bit moody, but I filmed it. I'll show you it on time-lapse. Here we go. And then after that, I'll get on with chatting about the garden. So anyway, time-lapse. Here we go. Good morning everybody. So it's been a bit of a busy week this week and um, it's been a bit of a chilly week so I haven't really had much chance to get out in the garden um, but I thought I'd come out here just to give a really quick update. I didn't want to just uh, just ignore didn't want to just ignore you this week so um, decided just to come out and just show you a little bit about and a little bit around the garden. Uh, not a lot happening, but um, basically everything's just very wet and very slippery uh, and cold. <laughs> but I just put a quick couple of minute video up just to show I'm still here and I will be uploading again next week as normal. But just look at the colours that we're getting at the moment. Just beautiful beautiful colors that's one thing I did want to show actually we did purchase um, a Christmas tree about I can't remember if it was last I think it was actually last year we purchased this Christmas tree last year and uh, from 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 Tesco's you know it's one of these ones outside on the forecourt and we planted it I'll just show you actually we planted it up uh, here it is So we planted it up, it was, uh, obviously it had, it had roots, etc, and um, the sun's in my eyes, yeah. uh, it had roots, it was looking really strong, really healthy and everything, we planted it up, it grew really, really well, uh, it's even grown new shoots, you can probably see this in the summer, it was doing really, really well, it started to grow new shoots and everything, but it hasn't just pulled itself, it hasn't pulled itself back, it's still, I don't know, it's still growing new shoots, but it's got all of this lack of nice shoots as well. So I'm not quite sure what that needs. If anybody could tell me how to boost that, it's not going to happen for this Christmas, I don't think. I don't think any boost is going to make that uh, a pretty Christmas tree for this Christmas. But maybe if we can keep it to survive and, and for next Christmas we can have it again, that would be really nice. I'm just wondering if it might be the pot might be too small or something like that. Anyway, so that's the Christmas tree. Any ideas of what's gone wrong there would be brilliant. As I said, in the summer, it looked really, really promising. Loads of new growth on it in the summer. Now, pretty much just died back. Not a lot going on. I'm still alive, but that's about it. Just gonna come down here, just have a quick look at the chickens, at the little, uh, the little hens. I'll just give you a quick look at them. Come here girls, what are you doing over there? Oh, 
they're not really one for the camera. These guys, these girls. Definitely the chickens aren't really one for, uh, they're not really ones for being on camera, these chickens, unfortunately. Anyway, as I said, I just wanted to give you a little quick update. I'll give you a quick look at the garden from this end. It's all starting to die back now. Um, I'll just give you a quick look over here. These were the garlics that I planted up a few months ago. They seem to be doing reasonably well. I don't know if you can see them. Yep, so they're coming up. So hopefully they're going to give us a nice lot of garlic come next year. As I think you know, we've also planted a little bit of garlic up at the uh, oh, a little bit of garlic up at the allotment as well. So uh, what's a bit bright that way? I just want to give you a quick show of our rhubarb as well because this is now all all dying back. I'll come over here; it'll be a bit easier to see. There you go, so that's our rhubarb patch. As you can see, the rhubarb patch is all dying back as well, just as it should do. All of those nutrients will go back into the ground and those crowns will come back early next year and give us lots of lovely rhubarb again. Herbs are still going crazy. I don't understand herbs. They are going absolutely crazy. Look at this. I'll try and come over here and show you this one. No, can't see it from there. So look over here. It's huge. Absolutely huge. I can't remember which one this was. I think this is. I think that one is a sage. Pineapple sage, I think. It's just ridiculous. It's taller than me, but the. Uh, the flowers are very pretty. Very pretty flowers on that one though. The pond is looking clean. I don't know if you remember uh, three or four weeks ago. I covered that with netting. That's now looking, that's not getting covered in leaves at least. But really that's very much where we are at the moment. Not very much going on as you would expect as you would expect for this time of year. Not very much going on. So I'm just gonna say thank you very much for joining me today. As I said, I just wanted to just put a quick video up just to say hi. And uh, now I'm just gonna say bye. So thank you very much for joining me. Take care. I'll be back next week. Not sure yet what I'm gonna be talking about next week, but uh, until then, take care of each other. I'll see you then. Bye for now. Bye-bye.